Hello again, this is Delta Climber coming to you from Delta Climber Studios, Roblox, and Einecrad. Einecrad is a new game that's just come out in beta, and it's a really a cool game. If you like Sword Art Online, this one might be the game for you. The boss is just like the Floor 1 boss in Sword Art Online, and... The mobs are very similar as well. Let me go ahead and get us started. In the first video, we talked about the interface and navigation. We talked about quests 1, 2, and 3. In the last video, we talked about all of the quests and their locations. We also took a look at the teleport areas, the teleport pads, and we took a tour of the Town of Beginnings. And now I'm going to take you outside the town of beginnings and we're going to take a look in the field at the mobs and show you where good places are to level up and how, uh, how you might want to do that. All right, first thing I'm going to do is my sword is put up. I'm going to get my good stuff out. Equipment. And then here is my best sword. And it's equipped. All right. I have to give a quick shout out to character Lou Dizzle for showing that you press your left alt and that engages shift locks. It's still, in the, and when you come into the game, they say this is buggy. So you're going to encounter some bugs. Be patient with them. And I encourage you to do that. Once again, this guy right here at the teleport, Warren Peace. The NPC is a level one quest. You got to go help him kill some of these boar hogs. Then you come down the main strip here. The little orange haired lady there sitting at the table with an exclamation point. She is the level two or the next quest. She wants you to help clobber some wolves. And then you have this fellow here, Christian. Christian Linwood. Please go get some of those potbelly people eating plants out of the forest so that he can travel safely through the forest. Well, let's start with the boar hogs. I'm going to show you a way that I would do this. And in doing this, I'm going to also show you where the mini boss is and how you can hang up the mini boss. And at a low level, you need several people to do it because it's got like 13,000 experience or HP, 13,000 HP. All right, you come out here and you see that little cliff right there. Oh, boar hog. See how that says level one? That little hog is a level one hog. You need to find the level one hogs to start. Look over here at the bottom right. It says one hog, how much experience? And I got a metallic rapier. I got a drop from that level one boar hog. But when you come out, I would head towards the cliffs. And right over here, you see that little dimple, that little passage through the um, hill over there. That's where we're going to head. And that way I can show you all of the mobs you need to see. Now, I turn my screen sideways. And let's see what level he is. That's a level one. Okay. This will matter in the future. When you get into the halls of the tower, there are level 9 kobolds and there are level 7 kobolds. With level 9 kobolds, I kept dying and had to keep running back. But with level 7 kobolds, I could kill it, heal up, kill one, heal up. And I didn't have to leave the tower to do that. So I would recommend looking at your prey. I'm going to sneak up on them. Oh, it's a level two. Run! By the way, if you run by one of these things, he will snap at you and might knock a little health off of you. But when you find the one you want, like a, if, you, if you're if you tough enough now to where you can do level ones and twos, there's a level one and a two. And you just beat them up. Okay, I got experience, level one. Oh, both of them are level ones. Really? I thought one of them said level two. All right, we're going to continue on through the passage over here, the passage that goes through the cliffs of death. I don't know what it's called, but it's some type of cliffs over here. As you get closer to the woods, oh, that's not a boar hog there. I see a woofy. See, first person here. Well, that's a bad shot. But you can see that woofy over there. So 
Wolfies, you have boar hogs level one and level two. Wolfies go three, four. So when I was just starting on beating up wolves and didn't want to die, I made sure that I got a three wolf. That's a three. Okay. All right, wolf. So you can see what level he is. And I don't think a higher level wolf drops better than a low level wolf. I'm not sure. Now you see these big white balls in the woods or in the field. The mobs do not render in until you get in the range of field of vision. All right, this one is a four. It's a little bit tougher. And you can see it took a, another swing or two. A blade of meadows. A blade of meadows is a good drop. My son said, go beat up the wolves and get a good drop. And I did. And this is what you get. You get a blade of meadows. It's green. Blade of meadows. It hits 12.6, but you have to be a level four in order to wield it. All right, we're going to move on. Let's say that we've worked on... Oh, there's a wolf. We've worked that big ball over there. That's a wolf rendering in. All right, woofy. Oh, it's a four. There we go. See, I got three experience from that one wolf, but no drop, and I get a little money. I'm on top of the rock. Okay. So, now there are mobs all out there in the field around the castle or the town of beginnings are boar hogs. And you get out a little bit and you're going to run into wolves. And I see people saying, that wolf was at one. Wow, I guess they're updating. I guess they're updating because I just got kicked. All right, last time on Delta Climber Explorers Eincrad, Roblox had a crash when I got to this rock. So we're going to pick up where we left off last time. We were just looking at the wolves. Okay, back over here is the city or the fort or the castle. And you have the boars that are just out from there. Then you go out farther and you have the wolves. Well, we need to go find the next mob. And I want to show you guys the mini boss. I'm going to rush on up here because if no one is up here to help clobber the mini boss, it takes about two minutes to kill it. So I'm going to speed up the video a little bit and save you guys the anguish of watching someone clobber a monster. But Roblox apparently has fixed their problem. We shall see. I don't even know what happened. But they just, they did have a major server crash or something going on with the Roblox. It came back up at around 1.30 a.m. or so. All right, I see some monsters rendering in in the forest ahead. And if you're looking for the Nepenthas, Nepenthas, the pot belly plants that like to eat people. Here is one place. There is another place where they are also. But if you come this way, you'll be able to work on the... There's a big one. And there's a little one. You're going to have to fight both of them. All right. I bring them right over here by this rock. When I get right here, I try to... You have to stay right against the rock because the aggro of the big one stops right here come on stay there and then you hang him up right there on the rock he gets his face stuck on the side of that rock and again I do not use an auto clicker on this game because it lags out see how my I've got a steady swing of the sword by pressing the mouse button down so I've got myself a and stapler it's pretty heavy and I put that on the corner of that now the really cool thing is while you are fighting you can still do your special 
I have a slashing special here. I guess I could look at those specials real quick. Skills. The diagonal strike is fine to use here, but if the charging blade is one where he runs and that dislodges the mini boss from being hung up. See how he's just teetering right there? If someone ran up and got to one side or the other, he could come off. So it's kind of a balancing act. But you can use diagonal slash for the straight sword. And as you can see, it takes time. It takes some time to be able to clobber the mini balls. I see down here in the bottom right of the screen, it is still in beta. The graphics are pretty good and the sound effects are pretty good. In the last video, we took a look at and go towards the tower. I showed you where the fourth quest is to kill kobolds, and then we'll go into the tower and take a look at that. We might even go into the boss room if we have enough time, and I am not where I can solo the boss yet. I'm just a level 11. But the mini boss gives you lots of experience. I think it gives you more experience quicker than if you were to clobber these plants, smaller plants, in the same length of time. But it gives you a lot of experience, money, and you have a chance of getting a rare object, maybe even an epic object, such as the sword, or maybe even armor. I found that Wiki doesn't have any information, but there is a Trello out there for World of Aincrad on Roblox. So you can find that Trello, and whoever did that did a really good job. As you can see, you want to make sure you throw in your special as and one thing I usually do is have this up so I can see the little red progression or the cooldown so that I can do it as frequently as possible. And that speed things up. It speeds up the killing of the alpha nepens. Nepens. Hmm. This one's big enough, it actually could swallow a character. The little ones, they just have to chew. <laughs> Over halfway there. I think. This thing has like 18K. Health. 18K health. Something like that. And it's only a level 10. So a guy playing the game, he's got gold sword or yellow sword. I think it's gold and a gold armor. And he, I don't know what level he is, but he can solo this guy without hanging him up. And he hits 111 per hit with his great sword. And uh, I think I heard him or read him talking that he was in alpha. He played the game in alpha. So you just have to adapt when that guy comes around, the little guy comes around and fight him, get rid of him. 
there's two or three or four people here fighting the alpha, the mini boss, when the little one comes around, it does not phase you. You just hits the meat grinder and clobbers, gets clobbered. If you can catch people here, this is the fastest way to level up. Even if you don't get a really great drop at a higher level, you have more health. Monsters don't kill you and send you back in the city, uh, the town of beginnings as fast. So you can stay in the field and play longer. So I recommend trying to get a crew or find a bunch of people already over here and level up as you know, quickly as you can. About a level five or so, you should be having no problem in the field with the boars and the wolves. But as an 11, I can go in the tower and beat up the kobolds, solo them, but you get more than one on me and it almost three will kill me. But more than one makes it really tough. All right, here we come up to the end. And that didn't do it. Oh, I've got 400 left. 300, 200. Really close. Let's see if I can finish them off here. There we go. No item. But I'm a level 12, you get 130 cool and 127.4 experience. That is the mini boss. This is Delta Climber coming to you from Delta Climber Studios, Roblox, 
in the game that just came out in beta, World of Aincrad. Have fun playing the game. Play it straight. Don't hack. Arrivederci. This has been a Delta Glimmer Studio production.